Why can't you run any faster than this, Shepard, you fucking idiot? Uh, what is that? What is that? Why, why would we speak to Septimus now? Keep moving, Shepard. If I sit in the maps, does it still drain time? It does not. That's good. Because right now I have no idea where the hell I'm going. And I know there are people here. I've lost shield. Garrus is already dead? Come on! You know what? I should really save. I can't save. Okay. Worst comes to worst, I redo everything we did today. Because holy shit, that is likely to happen. Go down, you prick. One down, one down. Let's keep moving. I like how Garrus just gets the fuck up even after he was literally dead on the floor. Uh, what did I just leave behind? I don't want to go to Cora's den. Hell no. Okay, turn around, turn around. We go down there, and where is the alleyway? Oh god, I don't know where I'm going. Give me a minute. Let's work this out, let's work this out. I wish I could, um... If I click two upper markets... I'm pretty sure it's in the upper markets, right? Why have I set a destination? That's not what I wanted. Oh, why can't we go up a level? Upper wards, Citadel. I'm gonna try the upper wards, and we're gonna hope to all fuck, because I'll let my friends deal with all them. We should be fine, right? As long as we make our way to the alleyway. Wait, does it say alleyway? Give me a minute. Let's, uh, let's look at the journal. I know that's what he said, but it could mean something else. Interesting. I wonder if this is like a full-blown you lose if she dies type thing. Or if I'm, I'll be fine if I fuck this up. Because I really hope it's a you lose if she dies. Because otherwise, I have to, you know... Go through the game with a little bit of a disadvantage, which is not what I want. I'm fatigued. Jesus Christ. So I guess there is a fucking sprint. Is this her right here? I guess so. Did you bring it? Where's the shadow broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. Fuck! Oh, oh, we're involved in this now. Okay, just drop me back into the game. That makes sense. Thank you very much. Move out. What are you doing, assassin? That is a very delicious dance, but I mean, it's not helping anyone right now. Let's go ahead and use the decaying thing on him. I don't actually know what it is, but I like it. Are you trying to heal? Get the fuck out of here, Arso. Uh, let's switch up to the pistole. Just sit or not. Up. Okay, they're done. I knew I couldn't trust him. Are you okay? Were you hurt in the fight? I know how to look after myself. Not that I don't appreciate the help. You look Who like you're from you? Destiny. What the fuck? A friend. I'm with the Alliance. Someone who saved your life. Let's be cool. I don't have time for questions. Oh, damn it. I didn't mean to be a dick. Sarah. I guess I owe you. But not out here in the open. We need to go somewhere safe. The Do we though? I want to see this anyway. No, I was busy, damn it. Oh, don't tell me Not I've accidentally skipped all those assignments easy. I have. Firefights in the wards and all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how... Who's this? The Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? She can help us. Making your day, Ambassador. She has information linking Saren to the Geth. Really? Maybe you better start at the beginning, Miss... My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. Pilgrimage? I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. Something of value? What kinds of things do you look for? It could be resources like food or fuel, or some type of useful technology, or even knowledge that will make life easier on the flotilla. How long till I get screamed at for wasting we time? That we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. Please continue. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Veil. Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. Is that true? How did you manage to preserve the memory core? 
My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean, but I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. What's the conduit, even though we know Prime brought him that's one the step bacon, right? Finding the conduit. Any idea what that means? The conduit must have something to do with the beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. Wait, there's more. Saren Thanks, wasn't Billy Mays. working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. Reapers? What are they? Are they some kind of new alien species? According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. It's true. Well, she's right. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. They need to know! Or will they believe it? This is a lot to handle. They might just ignore everything we tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audio files prove Saren's a traitor! The Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her, the Quarian? My name is Tali. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. What about your quest? I thought you were on your pilgrimage. The pilgrimage proves we are willing to give of ourselves for the greater good. What does it say about me if I turn my back on this? Saren is a danger to the entire galaxy. My pilgrimage can wait. You could be useful. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself. I hope you don't actually mean a few minutes, because I'm probably going to be like eight hours. Have we already met all the people we can uh, be friends with? Fuck off, Kaiden. You're like the worst possible guy. Uh, let's keep... Oh, she's full-blown tech. Why can we only have three? Really wish we could have more than fucking three. Because I really want Gaius, man. I mean, Garrus. Because otherwise our combat is quite low, considering. But then we got two girls both bouncing on our willy at the same time. I mean, let's try her out. We're trying out each character, and I just like Ashley because she's been there from the start, pretty much. And we leveled up! Hey! How do we, uh... How do we go to skip... Oh, what the fuck? Um... I'm pretty sure it does a self-level up, doesn't it? But I still want to level myself up if I can. There we go. We got four points. What do I put them in? Give me a minute. Let me take a think. All right. Well, it looks like we got a little bit of time. So we're going to start by finally going down and having a talk with General Septimus. Because that's what I meant to do at the start. But now we're we're all messed up. We went to all different places by accident. So here we go. Let's, uh, let's make our way. I'm going to jump cut there because we were literally just there. You guys probably don't want to see me run there. Literally straight away again. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Oh. oh! Who's this guy? Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Bhatia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. Well, I mean, I'm definitely happy to help. It's no trouble. What can I do for you? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. Wait, the 212? Your wife was serviceman Narali Bhatia. I'm Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams. I served in her unit. Chief Williams? It is a pleasure. Nirali spoke of you with great respect. I'm so sorry for your loss, Mr. Bhatia. Nirali was a good woman. What can we do for you? I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Did they say why? Why did they refuse your request? 
There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. We'll put this right. There's no reason for your wife's body to be held like this. Just wait here. I'll come back the to you in about nine years. Cases, Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral and the respect she deserves. Well, thank you, beautiful Indian man. Uh, is it really close? Because if it's really close, I guess I'll go to it. Yeah, it's like right over there. Let's go do that now. Because that way I don't have to jump cut immediately after coming back in again. So is that just up here, right? Heck yeah, it is, son. Open up. Right, we should probably start talking to Tali. Tali? Tali, how the fuck? Okay, you can teleport. I mean, are you the only one of your people here? I don't really know what's going on here. Hey, bartender. Pretty sure we've already spoke to you, right? Can I get you something? Uh, why not? Does it cost me things? Got? Information, mostly. Would you like to know about some points of interest? We've already talked about all that. Well, why can't we get a drink, damn it? I want to be drunk. All right, fuck off then. So long, uh, can we talk to anyone else here? Nasana. I don't have time to talk now. All right, go fuck yourself, Nasana. What about diplomat? Why diplomat? This place seems strange. Oh no, let's just talk to the My cook. Goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the diplomatic corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? I'm here for some mesh. Or I hope so. Stop stealing corpses, dammit! I hope so. I'm here on behalf of Samesh Bhatia for his wife, Nirali. Serviceman Nirali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. She's... toxic? You think her body might be dangerous or contaminated? No, Commander. Nirali Bhatia is not dangerous. Her body is in fact extremely valuable Damn it, that's not life. fair! The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Bhatia may save more lives in death than she did in life. I mean... Investigate. Length of research. How long do you think the research is going to take? This is a long-term study. I wouldn't expect the bodies to be released for a year or longer. Shit. Number You've of them. How many? A lot of bodies. Can't you release one? Very few bodies had this new type of weapon damage, and very few were in good enough condition to study. Beyond that, Commander, we need as many bodies as we can to get a reasonable sample size. Results when will of this research. research result in actual new technology. If we're lucky. We'll actually realize usable technology from this study in a few years. Thanks for the information. I mean... It, it's a... It's shit, but it's a acceptable loss, right? It needs to happen. Samesh should hear this. I'll tell Samesh. Next time you come no! up with that soldier, at least tell her husband the truth. That was just the reaction we were hoping to avoid, Commander. But if you think it will help, tell Mr. Bhatia the truth. Perhaps he will understand. I didn't want you to just randomly choke the guy out, Shepard, but okay. Hello again, Commander. Can I help you? Goodbye. Thanks for your help. <laughs> okay, well, let's go talk to Samesh, I guess. And hopefully he'll understand. I mean, I still have the opportunity to release the body if I change my mind, but... To me, it's just sort of right to sacrifice one to save a hundred, you know? And by a hundred, I mean possible fucking millions. And hopefully the guy feels the same way, right? Because it's only fair. Hello, Commander. Has any progress been made with Mr. Bosker? Will he return my wife's body? I'm sorry, he's still using it. He's, a, he's very interested in it. Tell me again it. what you've been told about your wife. As I said, I've been told nothing. I don't understand why they won't release her body to me. Well, we don't need to know his location. There's a problem. It's not as simple as I'd hoped. The military needs your wife's body for important tests. Tests? They're holding my wife's body for tests? My wife served the Alliance faithfully. She gave her life for humanity. And this is how they repay her. <sighs> Samesh, this is important. Mr. Bhatia, your wife died defending humanity. We still need her help. What right does the military have to hold her body? She's already given her life. She can still help. What would she want? If the military had asked your wife to submit to tests to save human lives, what would she have said? It doesn't matter. She's dead! Yes, she is, Mr. Bhatia. She died fighting for what she believed in. She sacrificed her life to keep you safe. I think she'd want to make the most of that sacrifice. 
You're right, Miss Williams. She would not flinch from her duty. Just because she's a woman, it damn it. That my wife saved lives so that others are spared the loss I feel today. Goodbye. Thank you for finding me answers. No problem, man. Fuck. That was mean, but they necessary. A on a space station. I can't even imagine the resources needed to <laughs> You were so absent from the shit we were just dealing with. What about you? Do you have anything to I say about that? The aliens from the animals. And that is very racist. Okay, right. Where do we go from here? Well, last time we were here, we were getting shot the fuck up, but now it seems pretty peaceful, except for the giant lighting neon stripper up there. Which seems lower- oh god. Okay. Those are aliens, and we are staring at their anuses. That is nice. How are you doing? Okay, she just tried to talk, but also didn't at the same time. How are you doing? Yeah, there's a lot of traffic in this building. That makes sense. Uh, why would we... We can literally just sit... Are we getting a lap dance? God damn it, Shepard. I mean, I'm not going to refuse just because I want to see what the fuck happened. Sit forward. I like how our, our two female companions are just watching. Well, we stayed for two seconds. I am very, very satisfied. I came 900 times in the space of two seconds. That's creepy. Okay. Are you literally just going to do that to literally no one? Can I talk to this guy? Patron, how you doing, man? Oh, I was talking to this guy. I was like, oh, there you are, Septimus. I expected you to be a human. Commander. <laughs> what do you want? Problems? What's bothering you, General? I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and there's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. Is it then me? Why create rumors and lies about this woman? How did you even know? You she weren't here when that happened. Me. Me. Septimus Oraka, General of the Turian Fleet. I understand. I think I can see why you're upset, but spreading these lies won't make it better. Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but don't waste your time. Straighten up, damn it! General, did you ever win a battle by moping in a bar? Ha, <laughs> war. That's what this feels like, all right. How did I let it come to this? So you think it's that easy? Just straighten up and... Act like a general. It would be more productive than sitting here. Huh. Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort. Even if she won't have me back. Glad to hear it, man. This is no place for someone of your stature, General. All right. I'll go to her. After I've had a cold shower or two. So Was it right seriously here. that easy? Would you I mean... Be interested in earning a few extra credits? Depends. What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. Why would he think such a thing? Because I told him. <laughs> Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. How? What makes you think he'll believe me? You'll bring him proof. <laughs> Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. It will exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. Where who am I taking it to? And where is he? His name is Zeltan. He's an Elcor diplomat. He's over in the embassies complaining about Shaira. Well, aren't you fucking well, on? Aren't you fucking an arsehole? Soldiers. That's definitely what I tried to say. Aren't you a fucking arsehole? Thanks, Commander. You know, you might make a good general yourself one day. A better one than you, motherfucker. I I don't understand how easy it was to convince that guy to stop being an alcoholic. I just want to dance for you, man. Why can't I get up here? Oh, I actually can. Oh, here we go. We got the better seats. Can I, can I literally just get in front of you? No, I can't. I just want to sit in his lap, damn it. Hey, Harkin. Is this very peaceful with a goddamn gun pointed at your face? I don't think so. I mean, I don't know how that makes anything better. I am the one pointing the gun at him. Let's go to Fist's office again and see what we can do here. Does this one open? It does. Have we been here? Yeah, we have. Let me just make sure I didn't leave anything behind in Fist's office, because if I did, it'd suck. Oh, I can't get in? But their descriptions of the wards hardly do Alright, whatever. Are the wards very... Like, good? Is it a good thing to do them justice? I don't even know. Let's see what we got around here. Did I leave anything behind? 
doesn't seem like- What is this giggling? What's going on behind this curtain? Maybe I don't want to find out. To live here. Why do you always ask that goddamn question in this place? How many lines of dialogue did they give you? Well, I can't get out of there. So next time, or next mission, we are going to... That one's miles away. That one is miles away. I guess we could talk to Shaira again. Or Jaleed. I guess we should finish the ones we've already got, right? So let's go to Jaleed and Shaira. Let's do it.